Hey guys, Jennifer here, and I am sharing with you a design team project for Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. This was a project that I made using the Sew Inspired Wall Hanging Kit. And if you want to see what's in the kit, you can go ahead and look back at the um, video that I opened this kit on. So anyway, um, I'm going to show you, I'm trying to show you an overall view of the wall hanging and um, I'm kind of just going to go scroll down just a little bit here so you can see uh, the other pockets that I made. And it's kind of like a patchwork type of wall hanging. She had a lot of beautiful pieces of fabric and little tidbits and stuff that she had in the kit. And I used just about everything. And I'm going to zoom in and show you a little bit closer uh, the different details on this wall hanging. Okay, so I'm starting at the top here. And at the top, I altered this really pretty uh, well, it's pretty now, but it was an, actually an ugly coat hanger, and I think I got it in a set of five for, you know, three or four dollars or something like that, um, and I had a really pretty set of napkins from, like, a Paris-type napkins, and so I painted this hanger pink, and I did that because I wanted the pink on the hanger to, you know, be accentuated instead of the ugly brown wooden hanger. So um, I thought this, these napkins were perfect for this project because of the colors and um, the really pretty uh, flowers and there was Eiffel Tower and everything and then it says Paris up here at the top. So um, I kind of set that there so that it would be right in the center there and I just covered the entire hanger with that and then I added some seam binding that I crinkled up here from my stash. These bobbles and stuff I thought added a really pretty touch to the hanger and each one of these beads and these little mini spools were included and I just thought that that added a little bit of decor there. And then um, what I did was, let me show you the back. This fabric that she sent in the kit was really soft and fluffy. And so I used that large piece that she sent as the backdrop for this kit. I mean, for this wall hanging. And I think this fabric right here on the left was one of the um, pieces that everybody just fell in love with. And it has lots of glitter and, I mean, sequins and sparkle in there. And then behind that, what I did was I had a piece of pink and gold fabric. And I put that underneath there and it just gave it such a pretty backdrop. And so there's pink and gold and then the black on top. And this trim, I... I thought it looked great in a circle, so I made a half circle pocket there and then I cut the other, it was like a tapestry fabric that she had in there, in the same similar shape. And then I used the trim that she provided. Now this bling is from my stash, but of course I had to add a little bit of sparkle. And then um, this little flower was in, in there and then this, and this was from my stash here, just a little bit of... Um, fibers that I added behind the flower and then these were in the um, kit as well these buttons were um, I'm sorry I'm out of frame let me scroll down just a little bit these buttons right here were included as well as these papers and all I did was laminate them and I added some sticky uh, temporary glue but I guess you know we're in Florida nothing stays on there <laughs> But uh, yeah, you can get an idea of, um, I wanted the papers to last, I didn't want them to get all messed up, so I just laminated them with my laminator. And there's other things you can do, you can always add extra paper in the back, but I made little button cards from those, and then they fit nicely in the pockets. And then um, 
I, there was a doily there, so I just kind of fold it off the top and then I cut the material here uh, that she included. I added a little bit of this trim that she also included and that was the last bit I had after doing the bottom. And I just made a little dress on the dress form, little rose there, a little piece of the lace that was included. And then here's another card and I just wrapped some laces on there. Um, here's another little pocket that I can tuck stuff in. Um, and then uh, I had a handmade flower that I had in my stash and I just added a piece of, um, you know, this bling that she had in the, in the wall hanging kit. And then, see, I was pulling out the grays because if you notice in this fabric here, there's little tidbits of gray. So I decided to pull that out a little bit. And then I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. And here um, is more laces and another card that she included. And I laminated and just wrapped some laces around there. Um, this material was in my stash, so I added that as a pocket there and some lace I had in my stash. And then uh, this really pretty doily here and these black trim uh, was in the was in the kit and so I just added that there I thought it, I wanted to bring all of the colors in everywhere and as you can see here I added a little bit of the tr this ruffle trim this real pretty um, shabby bow that I made and put on there this is from this little bow here was from the lace that she wrapped around the box and then I added another piece of that beautiful fabric, little doily there, and then some more of the ruffle trim she included. And these two trims here were in my stash and I just used it to line both sides. And then on the bottom here, let me show you. Oh, and this little pocket, I just tucked some scissors in there. Now on the bottom here is this beautiful, beautiful fabric that she hand dyed. Isn't that just to die for? And I add, I had to add that at the bottom. I used the whole thing. And then I just, in each corner, added some seam binding bows. And this little trim here also was included and I just tucked it behind that bow on both sides. Just to add some. You know, movement, I love movement in my pieces. And then this is just a little bow I added there to the bottom, just to add some interest. And so that is my um, wall hanging. And I think it just turned out so lovely. So let me um, back up a little. So that is my so inspired wall hanging. I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you guys for staying tuned and I will be back with another project real soon. Bye for now.